All right, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over Tattoo Chips first quarter earnings that just released now um they're finally out and they're basically um quick TL tldr dude it is they've beat it like they've beat earnings even past what i thought they were going to do honestly and there's a lot of small things in here that are actually really interesting so uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel make sure to watch till the end to get all of that but i'm trying to win thousand subscribers and um, we're really close i think we're at like 810 or something so if you guys can help me out subscribe to this channel we're really close to 1000 that'll mean a lot so let's just jump straight into this basically branded sales increased 105 percent year over year to 36 million and that is actually really damn good um or 69 percent of total revenue so it's getting Basically, it's becoming a far majority of the revenues all coming from Brad and sales, which is pretty interesting. Now, um, let's just quickly take a look at the after hours. It's kind of been all over the place, right? It came down. First, it was up quite a bit, and it's at 60 or it's at 16.80. Now, this stock, if it's down tomorrow, I'm definitely buying this stock here today. Um, as long as it's down tomorrow, I'm going to be buying more shares just because of how good these earnings were. But let's get back into it. Um, basically, branded revenue increased 105% in the first quarter across the clubs, mass grocery stores, and driven by successful product launches. And this is not um, looking at all of the stores that just went into in Target and stuff like that. So if you don't know, they're basically now in every single store in the whole US in terms of Target stores. And um, basically, they've only had one run in Target. So probably maybe like a few weeks out of this whole quarter they were in target so next quarter i think we're going to be seeing how well they did in those target stores but the full revenue is 52.7 million that is nuts so if you guys don't know analysts basically had them doing best case scenario 52 million in revenue best case scenario they're going to do that much they did 52.7 they beat their best case scenario in terms of revenue i personally thought they were going to do around 50 so 52.7 was actually really darn good man um anyways product revenue was 36 million and um basically gross profit was 13.7 26 percent margins for a food company 26 percent is really darn good and that's taking into account all of their expenses they're doing in terms of um, trying to ramp up products they're testing what works what doesn't work that's really darn good um and then in the prior year net loss was 7.9 million i'm personally not looking at that they have 200 million about last time i checked in cash maybe a little less now so loss of 7.9 million is not that big of a deal to me at all and then ebitda and stuff like that i don't really i'm not really uh, unless they're losing like tens of millions um then i'll be a little concerned but only losing 7.9 that's not that's not that bad to me at all now, another thing that was really interesting look at this as of today or as of obviously march 31st right the company had cash and cash equivalents of 185 million dude that's insane i thought they were gonna have like what 120 million left something like that 185 million is actually nuts because um for a company that's only 1.39 billion 10% of their company, if not more, more than 10% of their company is all in cash. That is really damn good, especially seeing that their debt is so low. 189 is really good. And that's after they did all the expansions for this quarter, all of that. They're at 185 million. Everything they needed to do for Target and stuff, those expenses, after that, they're at 185 million. And that's not even taking into account. Um, I mean, that's not a good thing, but this 185 million is not taking into account the. Um, acquisition they did just recently so probably subtract 35 million so they're at basically 150 million with this company that they just bought out um, called New Mexico no New Mexico food company and then tortilla factory basically this company that they just bought out with cash no debt will probably contribute is what they said up to 200 million in annual revenue in the next two to three years that is actually crazy 200 million in revenue for something that they just bought out in cash to this um, stock is definitely a great look long term and that's why looking at looking at these earnings right now is just pretty nuts um revenue in the range of 235 million to 242 million is their forecast for 2021 
it's pretty darn good. And then that's an increase of 58% to 63% compared to 2020. That is actually pretty damn good. If you look at the what they have them doing, they have them doing high estimate, best case scenario, 226 million for the year. And 226, they have them doing 242, best case scenario, dude. Like even their worst case of 235 is already beating the best analyst estimate of 50% growth. So I'm telling you, they're probably gonna grow 60, 70, 80% this year easily. And then that's and then next year they're growing 80% plus. There's just no doubt about that. I think with these numbers, it's pretty darn good. And then obviously um, 20 million. So the base business to 222 million and 30 million to 20 million from one of the two facilities in the acquisition. And it's expected to close near term. So it's it is expected to close. If it does close, I mean. I don't see why I wouldn't, but that is a very good sign for them. They got a deal and a half on that. This revenue guidance excludes any revenue contributed to the second factory because it's not in operation. That's fine. The company expects to update guidance once production begins in the closing months, in the coming months. So by next quarter, hopefully they'll not only probably have insane earnings next quarter, they're also going to be probably closing that deal down and they're gonna update guidance. So make sure to stay tuned for the next quarter. I'm gonna obviously make a video updating on that. I think this stock could very likely run next quarter. Um, if not, especially near summertime, maybe even at towards the end of this year, especially if the market kind of slows down and from what it's doing recently, right? With the NASDAQ down 2%, Dow's down over 700 points today. So I definitely think once every the market kind of slows down from its crack, whatever downturn is having right now, I think the stock could run easily in the next quarter. So make sure you guys like this video, stay subscribed to see that. That's pretty much it for this earnings for the um, for this video. Um, I guess only last thing I could touch on is that their basically their margins are crazy. Look at this, out of 52 million, right? Their gross profit was 39 million. So I think this is only possible because of Tattoo Chef being um, vertically integrated where they grow their food, they package their food, they market their food, they're doing everything themselves and then they just give it to Target and they do the selling for them. So seeing how low cost it is, they don't have to like rely on so many different companies to get their food, spend so much money, they can just do it all themselves and then as you can see, their margins are really darn good. So. Um, that's another that's one reason I really like this company. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned and I'll see you on the next video.